I just got this new Cope Master. This is the this is the newest version of it. And for anybody that's thinking about a Cope Master and is wondering what the difference is between version one and version two, one thing about version two is um, your template is being milled below the surface that your cutter is, is cutting the stock. Which is good because that conserves on space. You can see the footprint of this machine side to side, about two feet. Side to side here on the version one, you know, you get to two foot five. Um, they both come with the same basic kind of scissor stand. Um, you can see I've modified it to a certain extent. That's Part of it is, or the biggest reason I did that is so that I could use the rails from my best fence um, to support my material going in here. You, when you're milling the material, you want it flat going straight in. So this right here is a uh, bench mount for fast cap bench rails. And so that's worked out pretty good because I've always got the rails in my truck. This one, I don't know if I'll modify it. Um, I'm up in the air. I'm, I'm definitely up in the air about doing that. If I wanted to, it'd be easy enough, but it looks like the same motor. I think it's actually the same motor. It looks very much like it's 0508, whatever, ba ba. The jig knobs and everything look virtually identical as what was on version two or version one. Obviously, this one is a light color. Uh, interesting, one of the things that they changed is you can flip the stop out of the way on version one, okay, which you end up doing a lot when you're, once you get comfortable with the machine, you flip it out of the way so you can see clearly. On this one, this cover is fixed. You can't, it's not hinged, you can't move it. Um, and so I don't know if I like that actually because the glass gets, you know, this is like plexiglass and especially if you're doing like AZAC or anything that's, that creates static, it can clog up the window. Um, so the motor and the light are both here which is nice on this one, you have to reach over it to get to those things. Let's see, okay, so you can see obviously I've got this one on a mobile stand. That's so that I could um, transport it on a job site also so that it doesn't, you know, so it's easier to, to move around and set up in my shop. Okay, so the adjustment for the saw has one lock on that one. Um, you have to, you loosen the front and you loosen the back, you rotate it and you lock it down. There's some markings across the front. So I'd say that's almost equal. Um, on this one, basically you're reading it, what it says here. That's almost equal. I wouldn't even say that's an advantage. This one's a lot more, um, you know, like aluminum extrusion fabrication almost. So this tubing, as opposed to this one, which was, must have been welded, you know, it was all welded together. So this one's probably easier to manufacture for them uh, because it's almost like CNC construction. You know, it's just bolts, nuts, bolts, some tubing. Um, there's probably not much difference between here and the other one. And I don't even think, I wouldn't even think that the, um, the space between the two machines would be a difference. See the travel front to back is really the same. 
So what all you're really doing is moving moving this to below here. That's really it. And you're making this permanent instead of um, fixed. So, you know, they're pretty simple machines. If you know how to cope by hand, then you understand the principle. I don't really think there's much difference between them. Yeah, it sounds identical. The motor's the same. Same RPM. 